Well, we're gonna take the stairs today. Need a little bit of exercise. We're in Oviedo. Rogue Nation's down at the bottom. I think this is building and planning up above here, building permits or license, business license. So in case you want to come in and uh, <clears throat> get a occupational license or a business license, i.e. a tax to to start a business, then the city wants a little bit of money. Usually anywhere from 25 to 50 per year. Architectural. Wow, look at that. It's uh, down here. I'm trying to get. I don't know what code, code enforcement's in this room in here, so. Uh, do you, work, do you work in code enforcement? I do not work in code enforcement. I'm developer review manager. My name is Harris Burns. I'm very good. I was going to see if there's someone available for code enforcement. I don't oh, know. got it. Okay. Yeah. I don't, this is business license, so I didn't know if it was here. No, no, you're, you're fine. Stand Just up, come in here. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, stand up here. I'll go, I'll go in and try and hunt somebody down for code enforcement. What's, what's your name again? I don't give my name. I just wanted to talk to him about something that without okay, giving you, information. You want to do it anonymous? Yeah, correct. Okay, okay. Understood. Thank you. Development services code enforcement on this side. Oh, boy, it's loud. Yeah. I'll wait. Sorry, what? I don't know what it's under. Um, it's just, I need to make sure this is all right. I'll wait till everybody's out of here. It's just kind of loud. So. Yeah, so the complaint would be for 300 Alexander Boulevard. I just noticed in this office down here, it says uh, code enforcement, and it says to inspect and fine. Oh, that's, yeah, that's the former code manager had that. Yeah, is, not, is this, I don't know why the, it hasn't been taken down. That was some yeah, kind of an internal joke. That, yeah, it's not, you know, because you guys actually will take people's homes from them and stuff like that, put liens against their homes. Uh, for fines in excess, you know, what would be like a we, fee? if it, we can put a lien against a property, but it's only regarding a fine. Yeah, yeah, correct. We can't take their homes. If they're homesteaded. Yeah, you see. But okay. there's there's plenty of, of issues where, or instances where code enforcement has done that, okay. or someone has $25,000 in fines. And I've been here quite a while that I have it. Yeah, there's there's one just two towns west of here anyway. Um, okay, well that would be that wouldn't be Oviedo. Yeah, but code enforcement is code enforcement. It's statutory regulated. It's just what you can do. Code enforcement varies from city to city. It's all regulated by statute. That's what I'm getting. At. But is there a manager here available? He's not. He's off sick this week. Yeah. I'm the only I'm the only one. The other officer is out on maternity leave. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of like a not so good joke because, you know, inspect and fine, you should be, uh, I mean, most of them now, I don't even think you can, you can go to a, uh, maybe you can't, but you, you have to, you have to, uh, to, to report something, you can't remain anonymous anymore, you know, it's just one of those things, the state will just change to that. Correct. And, um, but with something like that, that's really detrimental to the citizens because it's like, well, what a, wait a second, you know, it's, there's certain things that happen, the guy that had his home taken away from him over in, uh, Indiana, no, it's 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 a couple towns over. Yeah, he fell sick, or his lawn service fell sick. He was up north, and they came down and fined and fined and fined. Uh, if you were to uh, shoot and kill someone, just using that example, that's the worst case scenario. The fine for that is fifteen thousand dollars. That's what, it, or twenty five thousand dollars, I think it is. But they were in the excess of like fifty thousand dollars in fines on his house. So what I'm getting at is those fines, like, yeah, went up to well over what a felony would be for tall grass that was like, I think it was 21 inches tall okay. because his lawn service guy died, so. Okay. Uh, who did I talk to about getting that taken down out there today, like at this point? We could probably talk to the director if she is available. I would hope so because, like, you know, seeing that like that, it's just the general public can be here and see that and they're just yeah. like, wow, the code enforcement here, I'll put it in lay terms, the code enforcement here is the focus and hands. That's what that seems. You know, that's what I mean by that. And I don't mean to use the, the language mm -hmm. of that, but when I see that is what I see. So, I, yeah, if I can talk to her, that'd be perfect. Let me see if, I, if she's available. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate that.
Mm -hmm. All right, so I stopped recording for just a second. Hold on to. Are you Deborah? No. Okay. Cool. All right, you took it down. That was such a nasty joke right there. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So, unfortunately, that's exactly it. Problem solved. Just gonna do it as we go to show the signage and uh, look in the uh, employee fridge. Nice. Well, Rogue Nation are out of here. We did get some compliance here today. Uh, there's a sign in there that says that, and you saw it all. If you haven't seen the channel, check it out. It carries around this Top Gun bait wallet here. As you can see, he has a couple pieces of candy down in there. And I'm gonna do an unlawful search and seizure if that's all right right here. Mm. And he's got his cooking license in Hawaii there. So there you are, sir. You're free to go. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we'll see you guys again soon.